Well, we're going to make a flat set here for coyotes today. This is a nice two-track trail. Nobody's using it uh, this time of year. Coyotes run down these trails because it's easy to run. Find a nice place here, knowing we've got a little wind out of the south and west today. We'll put a flat set right here in the middle of this trail. Gonna just bed it down right in the middle of the trail so it'll be about 10 inches away from my attractor. Sometimes you got to work with soil that's got a lot of rocks in it here in the Flint Hills. Sometimes you're in places that's got good sand. I like to dig my holes a little deeper than they need to be, then refill them back with some loose dirt. Use some polyfill underneath the trap pan. These are MB650s. Set the trap. I usually use my knee to help open it. Pull it back down to catch. With these shock springs, I like a shock spring, but I also like three swivels in a trap. Got one right on the base plate, one mid chain, and one at the end. We'll stake it right below. Use a two foot rebar stake as long as the ground's good and firm. A lot of clay. If it's soft, wet, or sandy, you gotta have to double stake. I don't use earth anchors very much. They're convenient, but they're really hard to get out of the ground when the ground's frozen. Now I can bury all of that chain and stake down in the bottom of the hole with some loose dirt on top. I want my trap about an inch below the surface, the base of it. There we go. Then the important part is packing it all the way around the jaws so that it doesn't wiggle. Keeping any clods from dropping down in there that might slow your trap down or keep it from closing. I'm not too particular on which way the pan's facing. Typically I like it a somewhere between 10 and two or so, something about like that. Now when I poke around on the edge of that trap, well, it's got a little bit of a wiggle yet. Pack it down in there. Just keep going over it till when you push on the edge, nothing wiggles. Then we're gonna cover our trap back up using a sifter to keep clods and any rocks out from between the jaws. Brush it back down with the back of your hand. See, I don't have quite enough dirt. So that's pretty easy to fix. Scraper, just pick some up out of the trail. Sift it back over. I like at least a half inch of soil over the top. And I don't want to hump here, so we'll kind of smooth it back out. 
when we get done, we don't want him to think there's anything been in here. Make a little grass. Spread it back around. And we're, it's a little bit too wide. So with this rock we dug out of the bed, we're gonna pull back over. The cow pie, move it back over. Put a little bit of urine on the taller stuff. We'll put a little bit of gland lure. By that rock. Pick our stuff up, make our final check, and sifting if we need to. Kind of brush your tracks out. And that would be a flat set for coyotes.